Hello and good morning. I am currently in Bedford County making my way into South Central Pennsylvania. And uh, today we're going to be exploring the Flight 93 National Memorial. So stick around. So like I said, I am in Somerset County and this area of Pennsylvania is known as the Laurel Highlands and it's a beautiful part of Pennsylvania. It's kind of like a plateau and there are rolling hills, you know, lots of trees and wildflowers and fields and it's, it's a beautiful part of the state. But I just got into the park and so there's, oh, there's basically three different major things that you can see here at the park the Tower of Voices, the Visitor Center, and the Wall of Names, and where the crash site is. And I am at the first one, the Tower of Voices, so let's go check it out. In 2017, construction of a 93-foot-tall monument began. The tower contains 40 wind chimes, one for each passenger and crew member who died in the crash, but none for the terrorists as they were responsible for the hijacking. Just as a little side note, the Flight 93 Memorial is owned and operated by the National Park Service, so technically this is considered a national park. This is a free access area of the National Park Service. There is no charge to come in to see the memorial or the visitor center, which is great. There are several restrooms here. There is restrooms at the visitor center and then there are also restrooms at the parking lot for the trail that takes you to, or the walkway that takes you to the Wall of Names. Uh, it's very handicap accessible. Everything is very flat. They have been very conscious of that in their design. So if you are concerned about that, you should be a-okay. Now I am at the visitor center where they have um, kind of a museum, but it's more of like an artifact gallery. I'm not 100% sure if I can film in there. So uh, let's go check it out. The Flight 93 Memorial was created to honor the passengers and crew members who stopped the terrorists from reaching their target by fighting the hijackers on September 11th. The forecourt is the gateway to the Memorial Plaza and shows the flight path the plane took as it approached its final resting place at the crash site. The path is identified by the darker colored walkway at the Memorial Complex and by signs sharing the Flight 93 story. As you walk to the end of the Visitor Center walkway, you will see a glass wall overlooking the field where the crash took place. But like I said, every time I come here, there's something new to explore. And this little walking trail that takes you from the visitor center down to the memorial itself it was not here the last time I was here. So I am gonna take a walk down this. There's some beautiful wildflowers here. Um, but I think rain is coming, but definitely gonna walk down there and show you that. Ground was broken on November 8, 2009 at a ceremony led by national park officials, 
first responders, and family members of the passengers of Flight 93. Over 40 white marble slabs memorialized the names of the passengers and crew members on board, and the wall of names was officially completed in 2011. So I was wrong about the visitor center. You can't take any photography or uh, videos, so that's unfortunate. But it's basically a staged, uh, small exhibit, um, kind of depicting, you know, the beginning of 9/11 and what happened that morning. Um, you know, as far as the Flight 93, the individuals that were on board, uh, who they were. Um, some recorded phone messages that they were able to send out to their loved ones and a small little exhibit about uh, recovery, the investigation, things like that, things that the debris that they were able to find and all in all quite an incredible place just from that day that what happened that day you know I think if you were to ask anybody who was alive and remembers that day that morning uh, everybody would be able to tell you where they were, what they were doing, who they were with, uh, what they were feeling. Um, I know for me, myself, I was only 12 years old. I was, I just started the sixth grade and I was, I was at this camp with my middle school. It was kind of like a bonding time before, uh, the school year actually started. And I didn't even know what the Pentagon was. I didn't even know what the Twin Towers were, um, and the way that it was told to me, uh, someone had said that a plane flew into a building in New York City. And that was it. And that was probably to keep people, to keep kids, us, uh, you know, not worried or anything. I remember it just being really calm, really safe. Nobody was panicking or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I grew up in that area, Pennsylvania, D.C., you know, New York, all in that part of the country. And... It was a pretty powerful morning and it, you know it changed the world forever that's for sure so really interesting to walk around here to explore so if you ever are in uh, Somerset County Bedford County uh, even Cumberland Maryland's not too far from here Johnstown is not too far from here either Johnstown flood National Memorial which is also ran and operated by the National Park Service it's also something very interesting to explore but yeah, so I thought people would like this little tour and I'm glad I came out. It's a beautiful day for it. It's starting to rain now, but the temperature is really, really comfortable. So I'm gonna end it here and get back on the road and I will see everybody on the next video. So hope everybody takes care. Bye.